This is the Predator 17. And what a machine. Carbon carbon bonded titanium infused paneling. Diamond strand intercore networking. Liquid synaptic data transfer bus. Bioluminescent keyboard. Time vortex cooling. Dual quantum dilithium defraculation processors. Powered by the captured heart of a newly born supernova. Okay, that's all sci-fi mumbo-jumbo, but the Predator 17 is a ridiculously powerful series of gaming desktop replacements that Acer sells for between $1,500 and $2,500. Our review unit is a top-of-the-line Acer Predator 17 G9-791-79Y3. That's a horrible name for a powerhouse, so I'm going to call it the Apex Predator. The Acer Apex Predator is an 8.71 pound gaming laptop with a matte finished 17.3 inch 1920x1080 16x9 IPS screen driven by a G-Sync capable NVIDIA GTX 980M discrete graphics part with 4GB of GDDR5 memory. It's powered by a 6th gen Intel i7-6700HQ quad-core processor running at 2.66GHz with a 3.5GHz boost and 6 megabytes of L3 cache. It comes with 32 gigabytes of dual channel DDR4 system memory with two empty slots for upgradeability to 64 gigabytes. The Apex uses a hybrid storage setup for speed and capacity. Ultra fast storage is provided by a Samsung SM951 512 gigabyte M.2 SSD supporting NVMe and a data transfer rate of 2.5 gigabytes per second while a 1TB Hitachi 7200 RPM hard drive provides SATA connected storage. Also, if you look really close, you'll see that there are actually two slots to entice your upgrade techno lust. If you want ports, the Apex Predator has got them. Four USB 3.0 ports, two on the right and two on the left, full-size HDMI and display ports, a gigabit Ethernet port, audio, SD card reader, and a USB-C Thunderbolt 3.0 for ultra high speed peripherals. We ran PC Mark 8 against the Apex Predator and its performance was eye opening. This is a phenomenal score for a notebook. While a standard office PC might score 2200 and a high end gaming notebook 2986, the Predator scored a consistent 3846. In other words, it thumped most high end notebooks. While other gaming notebooks have used this much memory and CPU power in the past, the Apex Predator's NVMe M.2 SSD gives it a huge upper hand, even against notebooks that cost more. Now I know what you're thinking. Padre, these are desktop benchmarks, but this is a gaming machine. How does it do with gaming benchmarks? Well, I'm glad you asked. We ran 3D Mark against the Apex Predator, and it scored 84730 in iStorm, 21,735 in Cloudgate, 21,958 in Skydiver. But to put these scores into perspective, most notebooks will score an average of about 1,400 on the most challenging benchmark, Firestrike, while high-end gaming notebooks will be able to eke out about 3,300. The Acer Apex Predator scored 8,356. That's just under two and a half times faster than the high-end gaming notebook average. So yeah, a little speed here. Of course, benchmarks can't tell us about the actual gaming experience, so I fired up some Homeworld Remastered and probably forgot how to play the game. Frame rates were great, even when I switched it up to 4K on an external monitor. Once I remembered my keyboard macros, I was able to play Homeworld... kinda. I'm just not the gaming type, that's more cranky hippo. But one thing was for sure, the Apex Predator handled it all, and I didn't even need Ready. to switch it into high performance mode. This is all in good, and performance is always welcome, but where the Acer Apex Predator distinguishes itself is in some of the finer style and tech touches. The keyboard is one of the best feeling units I've ever tested, with plenty of throw on a truly, truly full-size set of clicky keys. The backlighting is also gaming-oriented with a Predator Sense app, a utility that can change lighting zones to suit the game that you're playing. For those extended gaming sessions, you can pop out the 6x Blu-ray optical drive and replace it with the included frost core that ups your cooling capacity with an extra fan. There's also a set of programmable macro keys that can be programmed to do everything from game combos to toggling the cooling between quiet and high performance to changing the color balance of the monitor. Anybody who's ever had a desktop replacement die because of crud will like Dust Defender, a simple application that reverses the fans every three hours 
in order to prevent a buildup of dust on the sizable heat sinks. For the Twitch gamers out there, Acer has also developed a feature they call Killer Double Shot Pro that uses both the Gigabit Ethernet and 802.11 ABGNAC adapter simultaneously, automatically routing lag-sensitive game data packets over the wired connection while keeping lag-capable data like VoIP, chat, and background processes on Wi-Fi. The last touch is the styling. From the rubberized finish to the matte screen to the responsive touchpad to the mean look, the Apex Predator just looks different. And that's a good thing. Also, unlike a lot of other gaming notebooks, the Apex Predator actually has theater passable sound from its four-speaker two-subwoofer 12-watt sound system. Combined with a special two-year warranty, the Acer G9 791 79Y3 isn't a gaming notebook. It's a Predator.